Yes, I love that song because I know earlier we were talking about the simplicity of God and keeping things simple. And that song to me, it speaks a lot to me about just keeping things simple because we get so busy with our everyday life and sometimes God just wants us to spend time with Him. Sometimes He wants to stop the the heaviness, the busyness of our day and He just wants to sit with us just for a little while. And it's not all, it's like, it's like, well, I don't have time. Why don't I have time? Well, we have to make time for the Lord. We have to purpose to make time, to spend time with him. And we have to just, even if it's for a few seconds, for a few minutes, just stop what we're doing and just spend time with him. You know, I, 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 um, I, I've done women's conferences And I know that a lot of women would always tell me how busy they were because they had to attend to the kids. They had to work and they had all this and they had this. And they said, you know, we don't we just don't know when to do this and how to fit it into our schedule. And I said, well, you're trying to to do like this whole thing where you sit down and it's like you can spend time with him doing your everyday life. You can spend time with him while you're doing the dishes. You can spend time with him while you're at your job and worship towards him. You can be driving and talking to the Lord as maybe you're doing tonight. There's always a way to have communication and to spend time with the Lord. And that's what Pete was talking about earlier, just keeping things simple and giving everything to him. The way you do that is spending time with him. And, and everything you're holding on to, you just turn around and give it to him. And it's in those intimate moments with him that you spend, that you just begin to just give everything you have to him. It's, it's important because when you don't do that, the, the worries, the burdens of everyday life become heavier and they come a lot, they become greater. And so we need to do that. It's important. Yeah. I um, want to share a scripture that goes along with what you're saying. And this is uh, something that Darren was uh, showing me. Matthew 18, it says, Truly I say to you, unless you are converted and become like a child, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whoever then be humbles himself as this child, he is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one such child in my name receives me you know and that scripture i mean that it says a lot in that scripture but the part that i really i want to focus on is the part that it says that we are to become like a child i know that alice has said this many times you know and when she's talking about these conferences that she does and uh there will be times that there's hundreds of women that that she's ministering to and she'll sit there and says you know what you just got to become a child again you have to be that child and you just have to be learn how to play and learn how to learn how to have a good time with the Lord and and to go into that secret place to spend time with daddy. You know, I, I shared something on my Facebook the other day and what I wrote was that, you know, we have to walk in the intimacy of the Lord before we can even get to the supernatural things of God. You see, we have to get to that secret place. We're, con- we're contending to do the mighty exploits of Jesus, but we have to be able to go and enter into that secret place and becoming a child. You know what? Isn't it, isn't it so true that it doesn't matter what kind of day you as a parent or you as an adult can be having, a little boy or a little girl can walk in the room and they would just be so happy you can like tickle their stomach or just make a funny noise and they'll just start laughing and giggling and just having this joy upon them because you know that's all that they know that's all that they know and see we have to get to that place where we're like a child i I know you have some of this (laughs) alice yeah i was in the grocery store the other day and i had had such a busy day i mean i was so exhausted and tired and I'm walking in the grocery store. Everybody laughs because I always I always tell them that I spend my time with the Lord in the grocery store. And they're like, how do you spend time in the grocery store with the Lord? I said, because I'm walking in the aisles and I'm like speaking to the Lord. And so I was walking in the aisles and I was like, man, Lord, I'm, I'm just so tired. I'm like, 
I just like I don't feel like shopping I don't feel like trying to even think about what I need <laughs> I don't feel like doing any of this and this mom came in <clears throat> and she had these two little boys and these two little boys were running around <laughs> the store now to somebody else that might have frustrated you or upset you <laughs> be like what what is wrong with these kids but to me it blessed me and I know it was in that moment that the Lord was speaking to me and he uses kids all the time to speak to me it's just it's hilarious so I'm standing there and these kids are running free in the store and they have this freedom and this joy like Pete was talking about and they were like trying to check out the toys and they were like you know they were brothers so they were like uh like playing tag and they were like having such great joy and and that's exactly the way we're supposed to be and it reminded me of of being in heaven and spending time with the lord and how happy you can be when you're just with the lord it's like it's like you forget about everything in that very moment Everything that is going on in your life is forgotten at that very moment that you're free with him, that you, you just are just there like going somewhere with him. And it's like, he wants to be your hero today. And that day he was my hero because he swooped in and he, he picked me up and he took me somewhere. And I remembered why I did what I did. And it didn't matter if I was tired or if I had had a bad day because what mattered was that the Lord showed up for me in those kids. And I remember laughing and laughing at the kids and just and just having this great joy. And right after that, I felt this supernatural strength in my body come. And I said, "Okay, Lord, thank you, Lord. And I felt this refreshing come come over me. And I knew it was the Lord just coming to refresh me, giving me that extra boost that I needed to be to go on with my day and to keep moving forward and running the race for him. And and it was just so real for me. So when we say these things, become like a kid, be childlike. It's because there's so much more the Lord has for you. And it's not an everyday hustle, bustle, got to make the money, got to pay the bills kind of life. It's like, yes, we get caught up in that very easily. But that's not the kind of life Jesus wanted for us. He wanted us to be filled with joy and happiness and, and know that he shows up every day for us. You know that the Lord can't wait to see you when you wake up in the morning. You know that he's standing there by your side of your bed and saying, I can't wait till my son gets out of bed this morning or my daughter to get out of bed so I can just love on them and play with them and spend time with them today. And then we wake up in this bad mood and we're just like, God, I got to go to work. I got to do this. And the Lord and we just completely walk past the Lord. And the Lord's just sitting there just saying, I'm so excited to spend time with you. I'm so excited. Can you just wake up? Because I just want to embrace you and love on you today. And I want to have a good day with you. And then we wake up and we're like frustrated and mad and with all these emotions. And there he is standing there just looking at us, waiting for us to acknowledge him waiting for us to say hi good morning daddy how are you how are you daddy what do you have for me today daddy i know you don't just have work i know you don't just have bills to pay what do you have for me today daddy what is it that you want me to see in the spirit that my flesh sometimes has such a hard time seeing what is it you have for me today? And then he shows you this whole different way of life that you've never known before. You know, my dad, I love him very much, but he's a big worrier. And that's something that I picked up growing up. Worry, worry, worry. But then my father in heaven showed up one day And he said, you know this life of worry that you've been taught? I'm not in that kind of life. 
I have something better for you. I have a life that has freedom and joy and hope and love. And you don't have to worry anymore because you don't have to give me your burden. You don't have to carry those burdens anymore and those worries. You can give them to me. And you know what? Just like I carried that cross that day when I was walking on that street, I'll carry your burdens today and you don't have to carry them anymore. Just give them to me. And some of you are saying, but God, maybe you can't, maybe you're not strong enough to carry my burdens. Oh, he is. He is way, way strong, way strong to carry your burdens today, to carry every one of your worries. So give it to the Lord today. Give every worry, everything that is stopping you from being with him and just give it to him. Give us a call on our prayer lines because I want to pray with you tonight. The prayer line number is 256-472-1270. Again, it's 256-472-1270.